It's time we take responsibility and end this mess. First appearing in Resident Evil 2, the former police officer Leon S. Kennedy is no stranger to evil. A bioterrorism attack on the American community of Tall Oaks begins a new threat of terror as Leon and Secret Service agent Helena Harper survive an encounter with the zombified president and make their way through a series of environments to get closer to the truth behind the deadly new outbreak. Bioorganic weapons are a global threat and we are partly to blame. The pair's trials and tribulations range from carefully stalking through atmospheric spaces to desperate defense, making the flavor of gameplay here reminiscent of the deliberately paced action of Resident Evil 4. A slow-moving introduction takes players through a haunting campus and into a chaotic downtown area that closely mirrors the ill-fated Raccoon City. The times are even more desperate, however, with new threats such as heavily armored SWAT team members who, despite being dead, still have a trigger instinct. Rapidly mutating zombies similar to the horrifying Crimson Heads that appeared in the Resident Evil remake can quickly turn a bad situation worse, and it isn't too long before larger foes will rear their ugly heads. What's the matter? Not a fan of sewers? Familiar canine faces and a sizable resident population make a trek through a particularly lively graveyard a real trial. Leon and Helena face almost continual ambush from resilient enemies before dealing with an extended series of puzzles and traps as the two make their way to a cathedral and through an underground research facility. The challenges here will test your reflexes and perception, and despite the changes to the controls and a larger emphasis on nimble dodging, the overall feel is very much in line with Resident Evil tradition. The story revelation and a harrowing multi-part boss battle provide a characteristic conclusion to the second act, where our preview version of the game leaves off. Forgive me. While government agents don't bring quite as much firepower to bear as the heavily armed BSAA agents in Chris's campaign, Leon and Helena prove more than capable of putting down threats. Leon's ability to wield two pistols and rapidly hit targets with his tandem quick shot technique proves extremely useful in some of the more hectic moments. The odds definitely feel stacked against you, but by collecting skill points in the form of trinkets from broken boxes and fallen enemies, players can purchase abilities such as increased weapon damage or increased stamina. In doing so, you'll slightly improve your survivability and gain a much needed edge if you decide to tackle the higher difficulty levels. Keep following game trailers for our continued coverage of Resident Evil 6, and be sure to check out our previews for each of the individual campaigns. We'll determine what it all adds up to in our full review this October. Is this what you wanted to show me? No.